Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and shout out to all the Tiger King forces. Um, I want to talk a little about a different coin today. Uh, I know that I, most of the time I'm making videos about Tiger King. I love Tiger King. I believe it has a great potential, and it should be part of your wallet. I believe so. I'm not financial advice. Remember that always. But I, at least I have it in my wallet. I have high hopes for it. Now, in one of my other videos, I had mentioned I had also H bar, and I wanted to talk to you guys about H bar as well because I took advantage of the sell-off recently and I accumulated more Tiger King and I also accumulated more H-Bar. Now, some people laugh because of Tiger King. That's more of a high risk, high reward, but it's becoming way more stable than high risk, honestly. Each time it just keeps moving forward and I, I feel better and better each time about investing in it, honestly. Now, I also have H-Bar and that way, this, this is gonna show you that I at least try to do research on the stuff I'm trying to do, and I try to find coins with a lot of potential. Um, certain coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano at first, uh, when I first got into the whole crypto thing, I really liked them. Uh, right now, I'm not really liking Cardano, I'm not trying to talk trash about Cardano, wonderful project. Uh, I just, for me personally, Cardano's moving way too slow. And you know something, the rest of the coins are eating up the profits in the market that Cardano should already have. That's my personal opinion. And this is coming from a person that, uh, what's it called, got out of Cardano, although I had, you know, at least two grand in Cardano, right? And the reason why I got out, because I felt like it was moving too slow, you know? How is it that Cardano doesn't have a DEX already out, you know? Uh, Hopkins keeps saying, you know, it's we're trying to do a great project but not, nothing is 100 percent. he also says that so for me it's like then put out the decks you know put out everything people are waiting on this thing and you're taking forever um well besides that like i said that's my stance on that so i started looking for other projects i said i gotta have one coin that's higher risk higher reward and that was my tiger king and that's why I have it in my wallet. Why? And each day that goes by with the partnerships and everything, if you guys watch my videos, I feel more bullish and I feel better. I don't feel like it's such a high risk coin anymore. I also have H bar because I believe the future will be in H bar. Um, reason why uh, H bar is no longer blockchain. It's no longer blockchain technology. It has actually gone one step further, and it's actually Hashgraph technology. If you guys don't know what Hashgraph technology, there's videos out there, more information about HBAR, and that's why I wasn't really making that many videos about HBAR because there's a lot more information about HBAR than there is for Tiger King, and I really wanted to get the word out for Tiger King. But honestly, HBAR, I think it's going to do amazing things, and with the news that came out today, or was it yesterday? I think today, um, and I'm a little bit late to the news, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so basically some people that are like uh, decentralized purists, and I would say that because they believe in complete DeFi, they don't like HBAR because HBAR actually is decentralized, but it has a 39 company console that they basically are going to lead the coin into the future, how they see that is best for everybody without really you know one company can't really decide they all gotta vote on it uh you guys can see the names right there um for us people living in the u.s boeing definitely big company uh google big company lg big company i think that t right there doge telecom probably at&t mix there um let's see here uh other companies are big in other countries so remember crypto is uh, world technology it's not a u.s technology it's not a one country technology it's a world thing now i'm gonna put the description uh, i'm gonna put the website on the description down below um why i like hbar because it has moved away from blockchain and you guys gotta remember bitcoin came out in around 2008 it wasn't really adopted until early a couple years back it was a little bit more adopted and even now blockchain is having a hard time being adopted by the mainstream and a lot of the big companies now um that makes blockchain a little bit old and that's why we had ethereum that's why we had cardano you know first generation second generation third generation and then boom we have hbar 
And as you guys can see, these are the numbers here. And HBAR already having over 10,000 transactions per second. Um, all the other blockchains trying to get to Visa transactions, which I think Visa is doing around 7,000 transactions per second. HBAR is already doing that already since it came out. You know, high security, really fast, great, great project, honestly. Uh, recently, they also had an update where you can actually transfer your smart contracts from Ethereum into HBAR. So it's really going to start siphoning a lot of the projects from blockchain, and they're going to start moving into HBAR. A lot of migration is going to happen. Um, with an update on HBAR, we could probably see and go from 10,000 per, uh, transactions per second to infinite transactions per second. Now, you might say, whoa, that's crazy. Infinite transaction per second. Impossible. Actually, it's already possible. Another coin is actually doing it. And um, I would love to get my hands on the other coin. I just got to figure out how I get it. The other coin is actually called DAG Constellation. And they're already doing infinite transactions per second. And in fact, that coin is partnered with the United States Air Force. But HBAR is right next to it. And with, like I said, with an update, we could probably see HBAR go into infinite transactions per second as well. Uh, fees, way better fees. I believe even to open a smart contract in Ethereum, uh, you probably got to pay like around $60 to $70 for the smart contract. I'm not completely sure, but it's around that price range. Uh, on HBAR, I believe it's like $0.99, cents, and then you also get one extra smart contract for free. So like I said, they're really trying to take air, the market by the horns, you know, especially all these bulls out there. Another thing is they recently just partnered up, and you guys can come here to the HBAR Foundation on Twitter. And follow them if you like and see a little bit more. They recently partnered up with Metaverse. It's a company. Now, it's not the same company as Facebook, right? But it is a virtual reality company. And HBAR is not only trying to get a, a DEX going. They already have NFTs going for them. They are already getting the smart contracts transferred from Ethereum. But they're also working into the whole Metaverse. And partnering up with this company makes a lot of sense, especially since we're seeing a lot of companies and a lot of crypto moving towards that, you know, goal. This company here, as you guys can see the little shoes in the back, they have shoes, they have cameras, they have watches, all this stuff you're going to be able to see in the metaverse. Your avatar in this virtual world, like in Facebook, you're going to be able to wear all these items that are being sold by this company. Now, it's, it's a crazy thing to believe that you're going to buy all this stuff that's virtual, you know, and it's a virtual world, but that's where everything is going. Um, like it or not, and that's the thing about technology, you either like it or not, it doesn't matter. Time does not stop. It keeps moving forward, and it's going to be part of the world. Ten years from now, a lot of virtual reality stuff is going to be happening happening right now what we're seeing with nfts that those are basically we're just basically scratching the surface honestly they're pioneering a whole new world basically in virtual reality uh, and this company is definitely already partnering up with hbar here as you can see this little computer there all this stuff is going to be in a virtual world as you guys can see there you know and it's going to be able to move. You're going to be able to walk around it, see it from different angles and everything, all completely 3D. You know, uh, I'm going to put all this information down. It's just a quick video. So you guys get um, this is more of a safer play for me. I believe HBAR right now could easily either 10 to 20 X. And the reason why is because the market cap has a space to do that, especially at the prices that we see in the top 10 coins be at. You know, I believe HBAR will definitely be. Uh, one of the top 10 coins, if not probably the number one. And the reason why is because it has the most SP500 company partnerships than any other coin. It's really, really trying to push the, you know, the level that all the other coins are staying at. <clears throat> um, let me give you a, another example. And sorry to talk trash about Cardano if that's how people feel. Uh, like I said, I also believed in Cardano. I just feel like it's moving a little bit too slow for me. Uh, but I believe Cardano had put aside like $5 million for people to work on their blockchain. 
H bar, on the other hand, with the whole 39 console, they actually put, I believe, six billion dollars. That's with a B, not with an M. Billion dollars so people would work on their blockchain. So, like I said, this coin is taking the market by the horns. And they're really, really trying to get out there. They have the potential, you know. And this is why I felt so upset about, you know, basically Cardano. Because I was like, come on, man. Get get stuff out there. Get stuff out there. You have all these other coins taking the market, you know, getting passed. And you, you look at Solana, another crash recently. And it's like you have HBAR that's out there not crashing, uh, just adding more projects, adding more stuff. People don't really talk about HBAR as much as the other coins. And I think by the time that people start actually talking a lot more about HBAR, the prices are going, already going to be up. So right now, if we go to coin market cap, I believe, um, let's type in coin market cap right there. And let's go to HBAR. Herrera Hashgraph. Okay. It definitely went up today, and the reason why it went up today, although the whole market is red as I speak right now, I don't know if you guys saw that a minute ago right there. Actually, not completely red, but, oh, yeah, last seven days, a little bit. They're a little bit on the green. A minute ago, they were a little bit in the red, but basically, it's up 8% because it had that partnership with Metaverse. And it's trying to get into the whole metaverse tokens, all these other tokens trying to get part of the metaverse world and the virtual reality world. And uh, HBAR is not falling behind at all. They're like, we want big companies. We want metaverse. We want smart contracts. We want all the projects that you guys can throw. We're going to handle them all. And that's what I like. It's like it's basically, like I said, taking over the market. And if people don't get into this project soon, it's just going to be more expensive later on. And that's why I like it so much. Um, in my wallet, my personal wallet, I've loaded up on HBAR and I've also loaded up on Tiger King. I have very little other coins. I would say probably like $100 that I bought of Polygon at $180 today and they are, it's already at $2. Um, but I bought more HBAR today before it started going up. I honestly did not know it was going to go up. Let's see here. Let's see what the market cap is. Okay, market cap. Okay, so we have here 12 billion coins, and the market cap right now is $4 billion. So basically, if we get to $12 billion, we should see HBAR at $1. And that's $12 billion, which is very, very possible. Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, I think they're under $25 billion as we speak right now. HBAR, trying to take over the market like this, could easily hit $12 billion, making it a $1 coin. And it, if it starts taking the market and taking part of the stuff from Ethereum and other blockchains... Like they're really trying to do now that you can transfer smart contracts from Ethereum to HBAR, right? Then we could definitely see a very, very high market cap, probably competing with the top three coins. Therefore, pushing HBAR easily over a dollar, easily over two dollars. So, like I said, HBAR has the potential to 20, uh, 10 to 20x, and that's me being conservative, honestly. I have a lot of hope about this coin. I really like it a lot. You, I would say, you know something, find more information around it because I just want to also invite all the Tiger King forces. We got to have a little bit of both, I think. From my perspective, these are two wonderful projects that we should definitely look into. One, have your Tiger King, have your H-Bar. These, to me, to me, personally to me, are must-have coins. Because I believe 2022 is going to be a wonderful year for both the projects. Now, like I said, not financial advice at all. Look into it. The information is out there. And you guys will be surprised for both projects and what they both have in store. To me, this is the perfect combination and I love it. I just want to share a little bit about HBAR. And I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys look into it because it's not, uh, like I said, 
4 million mark 4 billion market cap very very little for a coin that has so much more potential than even some blockchain coins that have been around for longer that are worth more you know but yeah that's it that's all i have for you guys today maybe we'll explore a little bit about hbar later on if not you guys can also find more videos online there's a lot more information about hbar than tiger king so uh you guys have a wonderful night take it easy out there